Hey guys, how's it going? You know, since I've been doing aquaponics and hydroponics, uh, it's been a learning journey. And when I first started, you know, I didn't know nothing about pumps, pump sizes, what kind of pump I need, water flow, any of that kind of stuff. So, and I looked and I really couldn't find a whole lot. So, I thought what I'd do is, you know, when I come across some stuff that works really well, I'd make a video about it. And vice versa, when I come across some stuff that doesn't work well, I'll let you know about that too, which I have a couple of those things. So, anyways, let's get started on this pump right here. It's the Eco 396 submersible pump. And I think it's about 20, it's less than $25 on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. I think it's like 21 or something like that. Uh, and if you bundle it with a couple of things, you can get free shipping. So, and this is the one I happen to have running in my hydroponic system now and I had it running on the indoor hydroponic or aquaponic system for well over a year and what I would do is I would um sorry I'm checking on the dolls they like to run out of the fence sometimes but, but anyways I'd run it without even the filter in you know I would take the this little pre-filter in it I take out sort of heavy stuff went through it just go right on through and I ran that pump 24 7 day and night if you look back, I have a video a couple of years ago, I think, where it maybe, maybe been last year, where I had an outside hydroponic setup. It ran in that. So it's been doing the work, and it's a very good pump. So let me just tell you what you get in it. You know, you know when you pull it out, basically you get the pump. Pretty simple, straightforward. The cord, I think, is, let's see here. Does it give it how long the cord is? No, nah, but if I had to guess, I think it's like a six-foot cord. Um, which, personally, I like them if they're longer. You could actually take it apart if you wanted and put your own longer cord on. But then that's kind of, if you're not really good with that kind of stuff, it would be best to leave it alone because, I mean, I'll, <laughs> after all, it is going to be submerged in water. So, yeah, about six foot. That's my span, probably. So I'd say that's six foot. Now, this piece right here comes off. If I can get off and you have a pre-filter sponge in here which you know if you run that it's fine but what you're gonna have to end up doing is uh, probably cleaning it out more often depend on what kind of what kind of use you're using it for now to me what I'm going to do is and I'm going to make a video on this coming up I have a uh, the, the radio flow it's just a little sponge buddy to catch this up Anyways, what I'm going to be using this pump for is um, I have the radio flow filter, and I meant to make a new video on that. I think I told everybody in a video or two ago, my old camera went in the lake with all the footage where I'd made one, cleaned it, showed how I was going to do it. So I'm going to make another one, and that's what I'm going to use this pump for. I want to use it to go, when I get the water out of the aquaponics system, I don't throw it away. I take it and um, I take it and put it in a big old tub, stir it up, and I use this to water my plants that are on in buckets and stuff because I usually do a lot of container. I don't do like full-fledged gardening because my dirt's terrible and I don't feel like doing all that amendment. Now, one good thing about this, some pumps you'll see, they don't, uh, they don't have a typical PVC screw in so many smaller filters. So, I mean, so many smaller pumps. Some do, some don't. But this one, actually, you can put in a half-inch threaded nipple or whatever it's called, PVC fitting, and it works great. Yeah. So, anyways, what I like about this one is you know, some you can't, I bought some, they don't have the fitting where you can put the PVC in. But this one you actually can. So if you wanted to hard line it, you can. And that's usually what I do. That's how it's done. Hey, buddy. Mm. What you doing? Having fun? Yeah. Hey, Dad. Hmm. Can I use those glasses to see if I can Well, I would, them? but the sun's right in my face and it's blinding me. But I will in a minute. Okay. Now, this is a half inch to three quarter, which I haven't tried one in water with three quarters. Probably, probably no need to do that. I just usually use half inch. It's just what I had to show you guys how it works when it's threaded and it is hard lined out of the cooler in my hydroponic system but like i said i plan on using this i may even put it on a timer but that's for another video and i'll show you that some other stuff you know it, it doesn't come with a ton of stuff but it does have a few of these um different little things that come with it here's a fitting i guess this is just a to spray water all over the place maybe some kind of other hose application i'm not sure here are different size 
bibs if you want to run um, different size hoses, you know. Uh, me personally, I got this right here. This goes to the, you ever seen the black irrigation line? I can't think of what it's called, but you know, you can get it at Lowe's or whatever. I'm using it over there, and it'll actually screw right in here, just like that. And then you can put your hose. Let me show you. Let me get a piece of hose. Hold on. This is stuff right here. You know, just put it right on top there, like that. That fitting just tightens on there like that. And there you go. Now I'm not going to come straight out of the pump like this. I want to come out with one of these PVC up and then over with a. Um, hey, Brady, give me that shut off valve over there, will you? Right down the ground. Where? Right down the ground. That pipe. The piece of white shut off there. Yes. So what I basically do is, you know, this doesn't have with a water flow control. I've heard people say, oh, I want water flow control or whatever. Well, you can just put one of these on here and kind of control your flow. The, uh, this thing, I got a little nipple here, a screw right in here. Like that. You know, and have a nipple come out, a piece of hard line. Then you can adjust your flow to whatever rate you want it. Now the box says that this thing will pump to a height of six foot, six and a half foot. Um, doesn't say the gallons per minute at that point. Doesn't even say the gallons per minute at all. But I know that this thing actually does pump pretty good. What I'll do is me, I'm going to shut the camera off and I'll hook it up to a, uh, a piece of pipe and we'll see what this baby's got. So hold on just Okay guys, basically, sorry about the water noise, but I don't really feel like shutting it off right now. It's hot out. But uh, anyways, here's the pump in action. I got it in the bottom of a five gallon barrel, which is about, I don't know, three foot. I'm gonna pump it here in this bucket. Let's see how long it takes to fill it up. And I'll let y'all know when it's done how long it actually took <clears throat> minus some of that water coming out I'm going to take it. I'm going to start to hold it with my head until we get to where it don't pump out water no more. Kind of let you guys know where it stops. Now I'm six foot three and it's already pumping out of a bucket and going down again. I see that right there. So it really starts to sh slow down. That's probably about I say it's close to eight feet, eight and a half feet, really. That's about as far as you can go. You can go a little bit further and probably shut it off. Yeah. That's probably close to nine feet. But about eight foot, it does okay. But you bring it down here on the ground, you know, I mean, it really, it really kicks out pretty good. So a lot of the applications you're going to use for in, in uh, aquaponics and hydroponics, as long as you ain't got a super big tank you're trying to run. Like I said before, I've had overkill on my tank. But uh, anyways, that's it, guys. You know, that's the Eco Plus 396. Um, I'll leave a description down the link below. Uh, we can pick one up if you want. I'm not telling you to get it, but I just think it's a decent pump for the price for sure. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you have any comments, questions, or whatever, put them down in the uh, comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for hanging out. You guys have an, um, an awesome day. <laughs> See y'all later.